in this video, I'm going to be making a custom chatbot in Stack AI um, that will gather information from a customer and then send it over to Google Sheets. This is all going to be in Stack AI. Um, we're not going to be using BotPress for this video. Um, so hopefully that you'll find some value in this. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so I'm in a little presentation here. Um, it's basically revolutioning client data collection with Stack AI. So instead of using a traditional form, um, like all the websites are doing, they fill out the information, how big is the project, how many rooms are you gonna like do the project in for like painting, for example. And this this use case can apply for many different fields, construction, all types of labor services, um, all that good stuff. So the, ch the challenge of client data collection Companies often find it challenging to collect the right data from their clients. Traditional methods like forms and surveys can be time consuming and inefficient, resulting in incomplete or inaccurate data. So the benefit of a chat bot collecting data is that it's gonna be able to keep up with the customer in real time. If they have any questions or concerns as they're filling out the estimate or the, I'm mean, sorry, as the form, as they're filling out the questionnaire from the chat bot, they can ask questions to the robot, the smart AI chat bot that will answer back in real time. Um, that forms cannot do, that service cannot do. So this is basically a human on human interaction with LLMs. Um, so it's much more better, much more efficient. Um, yeah, so forms offer limited engagement and prior manual processing. Chatbots can engage clients dynamically, providing a better experience and automating data processing. So everything can be automated, it's much more engaging. Okay, so the solution, a smart AI chatbot, smart AI chatbot are in chat, interacts with clients in an intelligent, engaging manner. Um, our chatbot reads the company's website to collect the information you need, so you don't even have to tell it what information to gather. It will look at your website, look at your services that you provide, and look at all the other information about your company, and it will know exactly what type of questions to ask the customer to get the information that you need to give a proper estimate or quote or whatever else you need from the to provide the, the client. So the chatbot automates the pharmacy processing and collecting data as well. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, so let's begin. I'm gonna be building this live. Um, so for step one, we're gonna get the website um, and then get it to upload it basically. So for Stack AI. So I already made it like a dummy project earlier um, as I was playing, but we can start go back here and let's create a new, new project. This is all on Stack AI, stack-ai.com, by the way. So let's see what we got. Okay, awesome. So now we can start with you. Let's make the, one, the image smaller here. Okay, awesome. So first things first, I want to find a website. So I'm going to go on Google. I'm going to find Construction Toronto. Or, you know, Painting Company Toronto. I'm just going to click, like, the first one that it comes up. This guy's website is very, very bad. Wow. They all have F estimate forms though. So like, as you can see here, home, interior, contact information, next, and then even project details. Then it will go to their um, whatever, and then they'll send back a quotation based on this information. As you can see, it's pretty basic um, and pretty boring, okay? So that's their current system. So the new system that will make them it's going to be a smart AI chatbot. So let's get the website here. Um, what's the URL? Okay, search the pro. Awesome. Wow, this is much better. So let's see. There we go. So that's their estimate form. So we can give them, um, we can create for them a smart AI chatbot. So let's begin. So let's get an LLM in here. So we're going to use OpenAI. Quite obviously, it's the best one that I've used. And I'm sure you guys have the same feeling about that. So we're gonna get, I'm gonna use an offline data loader for this because um, we're not gonna need updated information for this project. So we're just gonna paste the website link and then add it. Um, we can add some other pages like some for commercial painting. See what's going on, what information will be helpful. Interesting. So we have a lot of information here. Okay, okay. Case studies. We have a lot of good information. I think it's fine. I'll leave it 
um, with what we have now. I'll, I'll add more if we need it, if I think it's not up to par. Okay, so let's do the model. Let's go with GP4. And then we can begin the prompts. Okay, so the prompts I already played with. So I'm just going to paste them in um, and just modify them for this because it takes quite a bit to get working prompts. Um, and all it takes, all you need to do is to make new ones is just keep tinkering with it. So I'll give you an example of one that I already did. Uh, let me a second. Okay. So this was for a painting company that I did. But um, this is going to be, I'm going to change it up. So you are Certa Pro, a painting service. Grab them from your client garden zone. Come here, overload, ask questions. So this is the prompt for the system. And then we have a prompt for the regular prompt. And then I'm just going to paste it here. So this is going to be the com company information. So Certa Pro. And then this is the information, your limb. So the website, basically what happened here is once we added it, it got uploaded, uploaded to a vector database and now it's stored forever. So it's offline stored, it's downloaded, and then we just connected to the LLM. Okay, now we have that. So ask one question at a time. This is so it doesn't spaz out and send a bunch of questions and the, the customer gets overloaded with too much questions and information that it has to provide. Keep it one question at a time. So once it gets an input, send the next one, the next one, next one, then I will send it to Zapier and want to go. Okay, at the end. Okay, so now we want to add Zapier. So we're going to go here and we're going to connect it like that. So tool Zapier, we're connected to the inputs here. That's all we're going to need to do because we already told the prompt that using Zapier tools for the data and the paintings here quarterly. So I'm going to create a new sheet for this. So if we go to Google Sheets and sign in, and let's go on our page here. And then we're going to create a new blank page. We're going to call this Certa Pro. And we're just going to provide get name, email, phone, and job information. So I'm going to let the AI figure out what the job information is because I don't know what to ask. And I, I mean, you could, if you really want to um, look into it, you can just find out the questions, but it's fine. It, well, for what we want to make, it's fine. So let's do this, bold, um, and then that should be good. Okay, or actually, let me do this. Okay, so that should be good uh, for now. And then, so we'll just edit this to, to the pro sheet. So I was gonna initially, I initially put this, but this is a problem um, that I'm actually talking to. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we just fixed that. This is why Stack AI is amazing. They're giving me real time fixes. They're fixing the whole thing in real time. Okay, so now we're gonna go to how to get my API key. Then we're gonna go to credentials. And this is my API key, sorry. Um, so I'm going to blur this in the video, but I'm just going to copy this and paste it here. And then we're going to go to providers and actions. Okay. So this is where we're going to allow, specify what actions it's allowed to do. So I already created one before, so I'm going to disable it and a new one. So you guys know how to do it. And plus I need to, because I'm in a new sheet. So, okay. Sorry, my battery died. So we're going to start over. I'm going to add a new action. And then we're just going to type little sheets here. And then we're going to create a spreadsheet row. And then I'm going to set a specific value for this field so it knows which spreadsheet to go to. And we're going to select that for the same for the worksheet, same one. And then we're going to have the AI guess for these fields. Um, so the AI does a pretty good job at knowing where to put this information. Uh, for the drive, we can have AI to guess. And then, and then job details. It's not showing up. Let me set a specific value. And there it is. So we'll have AI guess for this field as well. Then we'll just enable the action and now it should be good to go. So now if we clear this chat, we try the test. Let me say hello. Okay. I don't feel like answering someone would be like, please fill out the information for me. 
play dummy answers and, uh, because I am just testing. So this is the beauty of it. You can tell it to fill it up with dummy information and it should be able to do it. So now we're just waiting it for it to fill out. It's a lot of text in one go. That's probably why it's taking so long and it's making up the data. So it's going to take a little bit to generate. We're going to fix that after by making it talk one question at a time, which is better for conversation and for speed. Um, so it doesn't have to process as much information in one go. So there we go. So fill it with dummy information, blah, blah. So now it should be in the glow sheets, which it is, so it works. Now we can make it do one question at a time. Answer. Ask one question at a time. Ask one question at a time. And I wanted to say what I said here now, so that I don't mention. Also, make sure to not mention Xavier in the chat. Okay, now we can turn off stream data. It's off. So now we can deploy. Or we can test this out. Okay, so I'm just going to use the built-in creator. So chat, description, we don't need. Chat out, in. So we have a trigger. I already wrote, hello, welcome, set up, bro. How can I assist you? So this comes with Stack AI now. So it's beautiful. So now that has the first message. The user doesn't have to send the first message. And uh, I think uh, we'll just use the built-in bot for now just to test. Hello. So it sends the first message for you. I'm going to say hi. Okay, I want to paint my five. Okay. No way for it to respond in a question. So the two cells are working. Oh, just interior walls, please. So now we'll answer these questions just to see if it will give the right information and the right question and it stores it in the sheet properly. I think we are still planning. No, I have not. Please expedite the process. Let's see if it understands to expedite. We are going to be using light. As you can see, it's asking one question at a time. And that was your comment about it. See, ask questions that it doesn't, we wouldn't even know to give it. So it just knows this from the website. Yeah, no, it's really built in 24. No furniture. I'm just doing random information. Apple Band. I don't know phone number. We just want to see if it sends it to the sheets or wait. Let's wait and see. Okay. So the only issue is this code, which they're fixing. I'm talking to them right now. It should be fixed. I think if you're going to be using the actual deployments, um, it, there will be no issue with that. So as you can see, it say it should be here now. Yeah, it is. And now we're good to go. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video.
the prompts will be in the description below to be downloaded for free. Um, and if you guys have any suggestions for new videos to make, let me know.